Be sure to check out our transforming A-frame cabin plan sets for LackShacks.com. We have a product review on the tent style treehouse tents, some treehouse work, design work and builds from myself, and we will have more giveaways with Blaster. I use this stuff like it's going out of style. Ever since I can remember, I've been popping mine up. What's up, I'm Deke from RelaxShacks.com. We're here in Tennessee with Travis from WindRiverTinyHomes.com. Checking out um, two houses from him, from them. This being uh, one very different than what you normally do. An Airstream converted, totally pimped out. It's gorgeous. Yeah, we couldn't and turn down this build. When they came to us, we're like, we don't do Airstreams, but we'll do it. Well, I love Airstreams to start with, just the lines of them. They have this very cool mid-century modern retro look, but what you've done inside is unbelievable. Um, so we're gonna give you a full tour of this, courtesy of Mr. T here. Yeah. Um, it's a 24 foot, 1974 Airstream Overlander, I believe. We've taken all the emblems off to get um, sandblasted and repainted. Um, I think it's an Overlander, but don't quote me. But 24 feet long. I want to bring in Stephen Harrell, yes. too, yes. Yes. from Tiny House Listings. With the cameo. And Dustin on the camera. Um, so yeah, anyway, when we got this, it was just a shell. There was old subfloor, there were no wall paneling, no insulation. Most of the wiring was gone. I mean, there was nothing in here. So we ripped up the subfloor, actually had to re-weld quite a bit of the trailer frame because it was just rotting out. Um, the, the shell was in surprisingly good shape. There was one little dent on the front corner, but you know, most time you come across these, there's dents. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we were lucky with that. Um, but everything in here is um, custom made cabinets, just about everything. Butcher block tops, we used a lot of reclaimed um, pallet wood. Yeah, I love it. Like even down here under the little couch sitting area. Yeah, this obviously doubles as a storage. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. under there. Um, and then we had all the upholstery done, the tracking for the uh, window shades. Um, just, yeah, lots of really Even the topography features. maps he worked into the wall there. That's, yeah. That's, that's um, kind of fun. Those are actually my dad's old topo maps that he had stored. And um, it's all areas around here, you know, the Hiawassee River, Smoky Mountains. Um, it's all local places, and we just modge podge that right onto the wall and oh, it adds a lot of character I mean, yeah who, who does i have to ask because even seeing the house you live in um or live in mm -hmm. who does all the decor and like the, the color schemes um it just, or is it just I, organically come to be a lot of times the customer just gives us kind of free reign yeah gives a few pointers of what they want and then they let us choose the materials so i'm the aesthetic guy yeah. at wind river um, you so got a knack for it. I mean, like a lot of the, the lines design, mm -hmm. it's, it's great. The owner picked out the color schemes and we did all the raw material finishes yeah. on this one. Um, but that's, you know, I really enjoy aesthetics. And mm -hmm. so I'm um, picking different, and I like different materials and, um, the yeah, duality the, of, yeah, yeah, surfaces. And right here, this, I mean, you, there's a little, a lot of attention to detail. You brought this around, actually curved this, mm -hmm. it's like a compound curve here with this, which wasn't. Uh, originally material. in the plan i mean we, we we cut this aluminum and you know riveted it on the back side and really? that was going to be the whole thing and you know we stopped this here and we're like let's see if we can bend pallet wood yeah. and we just started cutting into it and putting it in so place. you just curved it up in the back side to make it yeah flexible yeah okay um so what was the most difficult part in the rehab of the airstream curves yeah well that they're wood, yeah yeah compound curves yeah. um the hardest thing was probably the window trim um, the Airstream usually it has specific window trim that has slots. It's got the latches built on yeah. that are supposed to go through. We didn't have any of that. So this is all made out of wood, um, you know, routed out. And that was just, it took quite a bit of time. Um, Patience. How yeah. many hours would you say you have into the whole build? Uh, we've got it somewhere. It's few of us worked for free for three weeks, if that tells you anything. Uh, like, okay. We underestimated the overall. Yeah. Mm -hmm scope of this project but it was it was such a fun one we you know it wasn't too bad yeah. you get the dickinson heater i see and even yeah. you got some a bunch of vents and fans for mm -hmm. the everything was yeah. you know new we put all new ac unit vents fans um i don't know there's probably a few thousand hours or wow. i don't know i believe it yeah um, maybe you already said it did you have to bump up the outside or was it we had it started um 
we had some guys kind of get it to that point, mm -hmm. but it, it hasn't even gotten its final buff yet. Yeah. Um, the owner wants it to where you can look at it like you're looking in a mirror. Yeah. Um, so it's good. It's at a good starting point right now. Yeah. Already. Um, so we can blind that. people as he travels down the yeah. highway. <laughs> <laughs> Forty car pile up. Death by airstream. Yeah. The floors. I don't know if you've gotten a shot of those. The They're cork. very psychedelic. Mm -hmm. It's like green cork. That was the owner actually picked that out. He showed up to the job site with all of this and. He's like, I want this. Thing. It ties in so well with everything else, the, the salvaged or, you know, mm -hmm. wood. And uh, and I like the industrial look. You have the corrugated metal in a couple of areas in your storage. And you even tied it in from the ceiling or walls to the fridge here, too. And yeah. And like I said, that was something never planned. Fridge came. Oh, I wonder if we can slide a piece of that yeah. in there. And it, it went in there. Um, all Anything you see steel, um, Caleb Knowles, he's one of the owners at Wind River, is a master welder. Um, he grew up in Africa, so he was welding, like, trucks back together like out wow. in the African bush yeah. but now we've kind of turned him into a decor welder so he made all these racks um, basically every tiny house we do we the don't ladder in your house that you live in, in is, house, yeah because that yeah. was beautiful too yeah. um, it's beefy we don't buy brackets or anything that you do out of steel we make all that stuff in our so homes. you're talking true custom yeah the butcher block tops and you know, made those uh -huh. hickory this is like kind the, of a, the backsplash here is very nice too this is a cool stove it's just you can run this off a of Coleman propane bottle. Oh, really? So you could take this oh, car wow. camping and bake in it. No way. Uh, wow. We have it hooked up to the tanks in the front, but it's like one of those Coleman stoves just has a... Camp oven. Chef? Is that the brand? Yeah, Camp the Chef bottle? is the brand. That's yeah. great. I haven't seen one of those. Yeah. You're welcome, Camp Chef, for the plug. Yeah. <laughs> Send a check to Stephen Harrell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this uh, sink doubles as their outdoor shower. Oh, we really? Actually, we oh, almost smart. We almost put an outdoor shower head, one of those like dorm style, really low profile things on the back so that um you know they're out camping they could clean off before yeah. they come in here and then we you know realize we can just turn around they can turn this on from the that outside that is clever Very that smart. is awesome yeah. wash off and, and you could just put a little like you know a uh, slanted pad out there you could stand on yeah. after coming from the beach or camping or whatever that's really clever mm -hmm. another cool thing i'm six four you can stand up in here no problem yeah he always has to mention his height in each video <laughs> <laughs> Well, last time you said it was six five. What's happening? Steven? I'm getting older. <laughs> Osteoporosis. The do the door here is such a nice focal point as you yeah. walk in. Um, this is the, this whole place is a photographer's dream. Mm -hmm. So again, where th is this pallet wood, or where do you get a lot of this from? Yeah, we just went around driving around getting pallets anywhere we could. Is this, Lowe's, Home Depot. Like this almost looks like old flooring here, or is it? Yeah, a, you know, we right? noticed we started taking pallets apart. We actually built a pallet remover because it was you know it's yeah like a pry bar. Yeah. yeah, it's one that you stomp on a lever and it springs back up into place. I mean, it's yeah. effort, effortless to, to take it apart. We started taking it apart and we found cherry, um, oak, um, cedar. Like I mean, know they made pallets out of all like that unique type of wood. Oh yeah, well it depends where they come from. It, yeah. Certain woods are indigenous to Brazil, you get Brazilian yeah. hardwoods, to them it's junk. Yeah. Which shipped over here, you know, you, you score. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't even look in here yet. I just yeah. peeked through. Yeah. First of all, the porthole's a great touch. It's so cool. On that. So yeah, I built the door and then the the owner came to us with a porthole window and he's like, can you throw that in my door? And so we cut it out and stuck it in there. Originally from the Titanic. He spared no yes. expense. Had it brought it from the depths of yeah. the ocean. Stole it from Boba. Yeah. I like that the uh, toilet in the corner. Yeah. Just, just I don't know. Just its placement <laughs> is like different. Usually everyone shoves one, you know, on one side. Or it's, yeah. it's a nice little spacious bathroom with a lot of natural light too. One of the uh, tougher things to fabricate on this was the shower. As you'll see once it gets in there, it's very small. Definitely not a shower you spend a lot of time in. But we. You know, bent aluminum and riveted it all together. It looks like you're in the inside of a tin can. Make sure the mic picks them up. There you go. Functional porthole. Yes. That actually helps for getting some photos and shooting this. I don't think they put a. Uh, shade on the back side so it is kind of interesting that you have a window into the yeah into the bathroom but, but hey no modesty in a tiny house no. <laughs> and you'll you'll notice um instead of putting the plumbing through the walls we decided because we had to go from that side of the house over to the shower we just ran the exposed oh, yeah. copper up over the ceiling and it goes directly into the shower head but um, over the I shower. mean, having the exposed pipes here, it to me it looks cool. Even yeah. the uh, the hex head screws, things like that, you have them nice and symmetrical. Yeah. So it's it's 
it's intentional and it's mm -hmm. the, the truth in building if you also trying to hide everything it's got that cool yeah modern look and what's fun is it's something that's so classic vintage and dated but you've given it a modern look at the same yeah. time yeah. that rustic modern. Now we've been trying to figure out exactly what look this is it's who cares? Yeah. Vintage. It's kind of badass. Cool. I call it. So, yes. if someone else comes to you with an airstream builder, are you going to do it? We would do it. Um, Raise the price. Yes. Yeah, I know what you're trying to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll do anything if the money's right. We'll uh, we'll figure out how to do it. Stylistic. What kind of toilet is it like a marine toilet? What foot um, flush or see? It's a low flush RV toilet. RV. So there's a tank holding yeah, tank. Yeah. There's okay. a black water and, and gray water tank. And just and shower water, water just. Tanks. Hook up on the outside. Yep. yep. Okay. Cool. Um, hot, uh, tankless hot water heater, propane hot water heater. Um, and then they wanted to be able to sleep, um, you know, at least three people. So yeah, you can sleep on the front couch. And then this was kind of an interesting build. That oh, this pulls out. This oh, goes, I see the leg. Yeah. So this goes up. And they can store some stuff under there. And then. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I see. Yeah. Pull on that, and it makes a kind of a double bed. Very nice. There, so they can sleep three. And um, this was the first couch we built like this, and now it's kind of become a, a staple. And you know, if anyone wants <laughs> a multifunctional couch, we've done this um, another time in just one of the last builds we did. It's clever, and you still have enough room to sneak to the bathroom too. Yeah, it doesn't left just enough. You can kind of doesn't bar or block that whole door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey Travis, thank you so much. This place is thank super you cool. I'd seen pictures before. I think somewhere we were talking about, but it's like five times cooler than I thought it'd be. So, <laughs> thank you for sharing that with yeah. us. Uh, WindRiverTinyHomes.com once again. Stephen Harrell, Tiny House Listings, Tiny House Swoon, and I'm Deke from RelaxShacks.com with Dustin the camera. We'll see you later. <laughs>